Hi, welcome to my blog, A Chief's Wife's Hearts of Fire. I'm the Chief's Wife, and I'm back with more inspiration for the Funky Junkie Boutique on Inspiration Avenue. I'm here with Frozen Winter for the theme of this next two weeks. And for this one, I have used Eileen Hall's new Chapter 1 Frame Pocket Journal. It's a big scoreboard plus die. So you're going to need the plus machine if you want to use that die because it's very large. Now I've got here two books that I've made and they look just alike except the difference is, is the light gray and the dark gray. And this was just some cardstock that I had on hand here in Florida. This is going to be a gift for my bestie for her birthday, which was today, actually, and we celebrated it on Friday together. Now, I'm going to open this up and show you what's here. I've got some Tim Holtz ideology here, and this is just dash ribbon that I had. You can see how it's curled up in the drawer. I decided to go ahead and use that because it's just cute with all of that sparkle on there. We're talking about winter time and in Florida winter is more like perpetual fall with nothing but leaves and rain and up in Indiana it's actually winter like this but I can remember saying that you guys have nothing on us for winter and I was laughing about it and they said we can dream. So I've decided to make this book for Christy because she can dream of winter time. Now on the inside of mine, I put, not all who wander are lost because people think I've wandered too far south. It's not south enough because it's still cold out there. Now this die of Eileen Hall comes with a frame and a pocket and also the shelf. So in order to make this extra, you're going to have to pay attention to the instructions up at the top of my blog on this post. I'm just being able to show you the inside of this. I decided to use the papery for Let's Get Cozy. And I just love this. It's a graphic 45. And it also comes with a bunch of what look like postcards, and they're really journal cards. I decided to sew this up because all of this paper is just adorable. Cozy and bright, and I love especially how it's the red, white, and blue. So I incorporated the gray with that. And where it splits, where your paper splits every time you cut, I decided to go ahead and leave that, and it just adds a little beautiful shabbiness in there. Now, you notice that my background that I'm doing this on is a blanket, and that's what this looks like. So you've got a set of album here with some journaling cards on the inside, which are postcards, and then... Your middle is going to be tablet. And I stitched all of this inside. I don't recommend using your sewing machine to do it on the electricity. Instead, I just manually went through with my turning wheel and it still stitched. Because when you ended up doing this little part for the back to stick on to the spine and then the cover and then all of these papers, which are really a very thick, heavy stock of a paper, and then the card stock of the Graphic 45, it was a bit thick. So I didn't do it on the electric. And then this I hand stitched with ribbon. You'll be able to see on the inside. There's one of the pockets from the die. And there again is journal cards. And here's the other cards. I just love this part about this paper. 
it's not just for winter time, but it had a lot of flowering in there. And that is perfect for Florida because believe it or not, the azaleas already bloomed. I took pictures of them this week. I'm adding one on the blog. So if you see this on the YouTube, you'll want to go to my blog post and see some of the photos involved in this. So you've got ribbon stitching on the inside. And you can just barely see it through the cards. The cards just fit. But you can see inside there, there you go, with the ribbon in there. I'm trying to do this at a different angle, and this is a little bit difficult. Okay, and now for the back. This is one of the big pockets. All I did was I flattened the pocket out. And here's some more journaling cards. Now this is graphic 45 paper, and it all matches together but sold separately. The inside of the frames, I took them all and stacked them together and poked it with my uh, circle punch and then put two buttons on there to tie it together and it turns into a book that turns. I'm trying really hard to do this here. There we go. So that you can use all of those extras and not waste anything. I love the way, and you can see I keep bending this. This is so bendy done that way. I made an extremely thick spine. And then did two sets of the inside of the gray. And then one side with the graphic 45 paper and then on the other side with the graphic graphic 45 excuse me and what i did was not make any gray on the inside of that so that it's bendable and yet the rest of this is very thick now you can see i added a little button of velcro there so that it will button up but at the same time let me get some of these out of the way i use these for bookmarks but at the same time, ties up. Let's see if I can do that. And it is awesome how thick that turned out to be. So that you can write on top of it if you need to. I loved how this ended up being shabby, although I hated it at first. And I decided, hey, let's just go with shabby. I didn't use any ink on this except for around the quote chip. That's the ideology on the inside. So there you go. And there's your Bigs Plus die for the first time ever. This was my chance to use one of these with my new Bigs Plus. Big shot plus, I'm sorry. This has been a very difficult one to make because I can barely talk and I've been coughing to beat all again. So thanks for staying with me. And thanks again for peeking in at Chief's Wife's Hearts of Fire. Please go into the Funky Junkie Boutique's Inspiration Avenue and check out the rest of the inspiration coming for winter. Bye-bye.